return to Caribbean Insight. We have an explosion of Caribbean videos lined up for you. Tonight, you'll be experiencing international artists displaying the cultural rhythms of soca, calypso, reggae, dancehall, and salsa. So relax, and let's take a ride down the Caribbean. Caribbean inside, Caribbean inside, Caribbean inside, please check Caribbean inside. I am Ras Shorty. I am a scientist, a musical scientist. I invented soca so that Caribbean people could have something to identify with wherever they go, any part of the world. Day after day, I'm more confused. Out of Caribbean inside, we are coming to you from the deep south. Superior to be specific. And on the set with me is the very vocal and controversial Lynette Steele, aka Lady Gypsy. Because of her controversial nature, they call her the Dragon Lady in the Calypso fraternity. They deem her a militant, born in the parent city of Rio Claro and grew up in Mayaro. She now makes Superior her home. She is a veteran Calypsonian out of Kaiso Showcase Tent, the mother of the third woman to win the road match coveted title, Fayan Loins, whose father is the infamous Soka Ambassador Super Blue. Her brother is two times Calypso monarch Winston Gypsy Peters. Let's welcome Lady Gypsy to Caribbean Inside TV. Hi, welcome. Thank you very much. Welcome, Sister V. Welcome to Trinidad and my home, Superior Road, Faisabad. Well, it's a pleasure for us to be down here. I love being down in Superior. Oh, yeah, the countryside is nice, very nice. But let's jump off. Where did your musical journey begin? My musical journey began in the quiet village of Rio Claro. Uh, I started singing Parang, and from Parang, I started doing rhythm and blues with different bands like Vin Courtney, uh, Waddy Watkins, Trade Winds another band, mm -hmm. and from there, you know, I migrated into Calypso at the age of 16. Your brother is the internationally known Gypsy, mm -hmm. right? Why the name Lady Gypsy? Well, when I was 16 years old, I, um, I, I, I wanted to sing Calypso, and my brother was asking me, what name would I choose? And he chose the name for me, Lady Gypsy. Being him, he being Gypsy, he chose the name Lady Gypsy for me. So, Lady Gypsy, Tell us about the meeting with Super Blue that spawned the iconic diva, Fayan Lawrence. Oh, oh, that was so many moons ago. <laughs> I was much of a young girl then and when um, Super came to town, he was a young guy too, I believe he was 26, somewhere around there. And um, like nobody seems to want him around. He had this beautiful song called Soka Baptist. And um, he was a country boy, he dressed funny with a um, yeah, blue shoes with a green pants always have his pants wait for the flap open and sort of you know like but something about him attracted me I don't know what it was but um something about him attracted me and Fian was the end of the, the story yes of course yeah okay so it, it was what it of was course, what yeah, it, yeah 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 he, yeah yeah he, he was a nice guy he was a nice guy mm -hmm. we had good times together that's that's good no damn respect was a song where you exposed the whole family business it was about your brother gypsy why did you think you had to sing a song like that well, um, my mom been in a hospital in New York for the past 10 years on a bed, you know, and having a son who is a minister in politics and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and looking at my mother's situation that I have to go up to New York sometimes and, you know, take care of her, which I cannot do as regularly as I wish, mm -hmm. um, and look at him in his position, and speaking to him, and like, you know, it don't make any sense to him, and I thought, you know, it'll, for a fact, and then one day that I went to my mom home and I saw some things that was going on there that was sad to me. And when I spoke to him about it, he agreed to what was happening in my mother's house, which he encouraged. And um, it brought a, a sort of enmity between him and I. And I thought, well, the only way he could really feel and hear how I feel inside is to write a song like that. No damn respect. And I know he heard it and he felt it too. Did he ever contact you on that song? Did you guys ever talk about it? Nah, he, yeah, he did contact the media and the media and um, the media and him. Well, you know, they, they contacted me and he was a, it was a he, who say and who say and who talking about your dirty laundry in public and stuff like that, you know. But I don't think the truth is dirty laundry. 
How can the truth be dirty lunch? <laughs> the truth is the truth and it will always be the truth. And a lot of people in the world just cannot face the truth. And I always try my best to sing and write the truth. Well, some people would rather be told lies than the truth, you know. Yeah, because lies is easier to, 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 to sanction in your stomach <laughs> and make you feel good than uh -huh. the truth. Because nobody wants to really hear the truth. If your husband is ha having an affair, would you like him to tell you? <laughs> <laughs> and I the truth? <laughs> As oh. I say, guys, she's the dragon lady. <laughs> very, very vocal and controversial. <laughs> Fearless, hard-hitting, tongue-whipping. But before we go too far, Let's give you, the audience, a taste of that song that exposed the family. No damn respect. respect. How long should I stifle the pain in me And pretend me and you is family My heart has been breaking from since I small I don't give a damn, I go spill it all I know for a fact you don't care about me But what about the rest of your family? All your sisters and brothers, my dog, you so Forget the hard time we face, get we deal to do. In that bit of your sad, so sad. Treat your family like dirt and that makes me mad. Oh, how my teardrop flow. Thinking of the Winston of long ago. If I was a baby named Primati, and my brother was Rockberry in the UNC. Instead of helping Tom the Canary, he'd make sure he take care of his family. What you say about me Is I catch me tail raising my picnics Super and the rest of them who hurt me You didn't want super in we family But look at the child super and I make She's so damn pretty, get she voice for me As soon as she start making some money Just like you she walk, don't she back on me When some teeth you sad, so sad Treat your family like dirt and that makes me mad how my teardrop flow Thinking of the Winston of long ago You forget all the hard times up in Miaro When we had to pull Zany Chip Chip to grow You're eating caviar and steak and laughing ho ho And your sisters and brothers They hungry so No lie City of you, Mr. Minister, treating your little sister as a prisoner. You call police for me for singing Sonia. Cause where she's sleeping, to me it matter. When I placard the Canadian embassy, looking for my brother to come and help me. We mother in America dying slow. You wouldn't help she for what I don't know. Mr. Peter, you're sad, so sad. Treat your family like dirt and that makes me mad. How my teardrop flow Thinking of the Winston of long ago I no longer carry your name with pride When I think of you, hatred boils inside If that's the way that it has to be Me and you and no longer No family Wicked heart wouldn't hear my plea The things you did me, man, I shame to say But to each his own, every man must pay Look, mister, we came out the same mother And don't matter what, I'm your little sister If you don't really want to help me Help the rest of your poor hungry family You can sit up your sad, so sad Treat your family like those and that makes me mad Oh, how my teardrops of the Winston of long ago I expecting you to victimize me But this song I sing for the monarchy The truth will set you free that the Bible say But I sure I'll be more hungry from today You are watching Caribbean Insights where history glows and culture flows Now remember to pick up the phone, call a friend, call a neighbor and we'll be right back with much more of Lady Gypsy
I am Tigress. This is the original dance master. This is Marshall Montana. I'm Brother Valentino. This is Marcia Miranda. Caribbean Insight. Yes, I watch them all the time. They're bad. Caribbean Insight. Ready is dynamite. Caribbean Insight. Really super. Was spite. Caribbean Insight. Enjoy day or night. Caribbean Insight. Dynamite. Welcome back to Caribbean Inside TV. And if you have just joined us, lock it in. We are chatting with the Dragon Lady, and we're down here in Saparia. And guys, it's hot. <laughs> I can't say better than that. It's really hot. Um, you are known for being vocal. You tell it like it is. Everybody know that. Whether they like it or not, that's what it is. But in 2015, you did a song, Voice of the Aborted. It brought tears to your audience's eyes. It even had you choked up on the stage at semifinals in Skinner Park. Yeah. Why? Um, Voice of the Aborted is a song that was written by a guy called Tempo. That is one of the only songs I have sung from somebody in 25 years. Uh, for many, many years, this guy been asking me to do this song. And I keep putting him off, putting him off. But I was in New York um, in 2014. And when he called me and he told me, Lady Gypsy, I put the tracks down and I want you to do the song. When I heard the song for the first time, my heart broke because I too been one of those. When I was 18 years old, too, I too okay. been on that road, you know, and um, you know, sometimes you do things in life and you regret. So when I heard that song for the first time, it was like a, um, like, it was like a glove, hand-fitting glove, you know, and mm -hmm. it, it, it hit home where many women is concerned that um, when I did that song in Skin Park, a, a pin could have dropped. It was so silent that I and all was shocked, like it was me alone in the park. It would look like it was me alone there, you know. Um, women really felt that song because most of them have the guilty conscience of, you know, having an abortion and stuff like that. But um, Voice of the Abortion is a song that woke women up, even nuns. The Catholic Church talk about it. Uh -huh. Yes, of course they did, you know, and they wanted to do a video as well of Voice of the Aborted. Um, and I think from now to forever, that song will live on. It's a gem of a song. It is a gem of a song. As I say, um, women were silent because they were listening to you. Again, saying the things that they want to say. Hard-hitting, soul-searching, conscious, awakening music. Let's not keep the audience waiting and go to the video clip of Voice of the Aborted from the Dragon Lady, Lady Gypsy. In your womb, as a seed, I was planted. By the hands of Almighty God, I was created. To me there was life in this fetus, to be born in this world to survive. Until that dreadful day, when you took my life. Mother, I wanted to see your face, and to feel your warm embrace. What came in your mind? To get the rid of me You deprive me of the sunshine That I wanted to feel I wanted to see the light of this world Unite with you in my heart and my soul I wanted to be Mommy holding you close to me Laughing and sharing, playing with your cheeks Hear your sweet voice while I'm falling asleep I wanted to be Mommy holding you close to me You never give me the chance To know what I'd become You never even miss me when I'm gone That's the reason I'm asking you, Mommy Is it true you had no love for me? Mother dear, it was all your decision You were both judge and jury to my execution By blotting me out of existence My life was a revenge you took Against the laws that's written in the holy book 
mother While I had been pulverized They appeared before my eyes From heaven they came With glamour and with ray Surrounded by the angels As they led me away I wanted to see the light of this world Unite with you in my heart and my soul I wanted to be Mommy holding you close to me Laughing and sharing, playing with your cheeks Hear your sweet voice while I'm falling asleep I wanted to be Mommy holding you close to me You never give me the chance To know what I'd become You never even miss me when I'm gone That's the reason I'm asking you, mommy Is it true you had no love for me? Though unseen, there are those who have witness. For the angels have seen your deeds deep in the darkness. The pain I endured while departing from the poison that ripped out my life. As I stood between two worlds, being a sacrifice. Mother, how you must have hated me. To become my enemy What wrong have I done To treat me with such scorn You destroyed my very image Long before I was born I wanted to see the light of this world Unite with you in my heart and my soul I wanted to be Mommy holding you close to me Laughing and sharing, playing with your cheeks Hear your sweet voice while I'm falling asleep I wanted to be Mommy holding you close to me You never give me the chance To know what I've become You never even miss me when I'm gone That's the reason I'm asking you, Mommy Is it true? You had no love for me There's a day when this life shall be over You will be called from your earthly home by the Creator There yeah, you'll hear my voice saying, Mama As we stare into each other's face For we are in a different time And a different place, Mother as you have aborted me, you shall face the penalty, O soul of the damned. On who shall you rely? For your judgment is already handed down from up high. I wanted to see the light of this world unite with you in my heart and my soul. I wanted to be mommy holding you close. Laughing and sharing, playing with your cheeks Hear your sweet voice while I'm falling asleep I wanted to be Mommy holding you close to me You never give me the chance To know what I've become You never even miss me when I'm gone That's the reason I'm a Dynamic performance as I say, you say the things that people are scared to say. Voices, voice of the aborted, great song. Thank you. Um, as we move along here, guys, we are on Caribbean Insight, where history flow and knowledge grows. And let me tell you, pick up the phone, call your friend, call your neighbor, and we'll be right back with much more. This is Shalane Hendrickson Thomas. It's me again, the Ivan. Hi, I'm John T. Hi, my name is Kevin King. This is Ram Raji Prabhu. Keep tuning in. It's the best Caribbean soccer program right on, and it's happening. Love you. Stay away from drugs. Love up the soccer. Caribbean inside. Caribbean inside. Caribbean inside, please check Caribbean inside. 
Lady Gypsy, you're not a pushover. You're fearless. You're just fearless. That's the way I could, I could just tell people like <laughs> it is. But you also make us dance. You make us happy. Sure. You had people on their coolers in New York and Toronto whining and grinding to vintage wine. Why the change? Um, I don't think it's a change, you know, it is in me because it's not the first time I've done a party song. Mm -hmm. But with vintage wine, what I look at is one day I was looking at a video and I saw this young Trini girl on, her, on the ground and her bottom was doing this sort of fancy work and stuff, you know. So I studied back, I said, well, I can't do that. So I started to think about my age group, then where we fit? <laughs> There's no room for us in this era here with these kind of wine. Uh -huh. So I said, what well, do we old school wine? So I sat down home one day, you know, and the idea came to me. And I wrote the song, Vintage Wine, and the rest is history. TV family, let's go to the video clip and get a taste of vintage wine with the dragon lady, Lady Gypsy. Them young people and them say, them alone would break away. I just want young people know, not, not, not so long ago. Old women who look like me, used to whine and act crazy now. Jamaican dance take over, them young girl can't whine no more. They feel that them alone good, my old wine was smooth and rude. I just want to let them know, old women could still let go. Uh -huh. Hey, 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 ah, 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 ah. Long time wine was go down slow, then down and then touch your toe. Rest your hand upon your knees. Move your bumps here as you please. Them young people change the thing. All part day, body whining. We want back we old time wine. Man jamming, we from behind. Uh -huh. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, 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 ah. They change the wine. Bring back we old time wine. Bring back we vintage wine. Not, not, not so long ago 
Old woman who look like me Used to whine and act crazy now Jamaican dance take over Them young girl can't whine no more They feel that them alone good My old wine was smooth and rude I just want to let them know Old woman could still let go uh -huh. Hey, hey Bring back the old time wine. Bring back that sweet, sweet hey, wine. Girl, Lady Gypsy, tell you. <laughs> Guys, and while you practice how to do the old time wine, don't touch the remote. We'll be right back with much more of the Dragon Lady. Settings. My name is David Rudder. I am Mavis John. Yo, this is KMC. I'm Nicole Graves. Hey, yo, this is Ronnie. This is Ronnie McIntosh. Hi, it's Brother Resistance. I am Ras Shorty Eyes. I make sure that I watch Caribbean Inside. And so should you. Caribbean Inside. Really is dynamite. Caribbean Inside. Really super. Was spite. Caribbean Inside. Enjoy day or night. Caribbean Insight, really is dynamite. We're back here on Caribbean Insight TV and we're down in the deep south in Separia, Tech Village to be specific. And we're here at Stokey's Bar. When you get a chance, guys, check them out. And we're chatting with the Dragon Lady. Now, you're not going to be victimized. I know that, but tell me, do you have your eyes on the Calypso Monarch title? Yeah, I mean, back to victimization. I don't care about victimization. I mean, I get used to that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but my eyes are always focused on the Kaiso Monarch. Uh -huh. But because of who I am and the way the, the song that I sing, right, it's very hard for me to get there because who the bosses are will always squeeze me out. What do you mean? Well, you, you understand what I'm saying because who is in charge of my organization uh -huh. and who is who the judges are, you understand me? Mm -hmm. I might always be left on the sidewalk, but I don't care about that. Once my message gets across to the people of my nation, mm -hmm. that is my most important victory. I hear that. I hear that, and I know they're hearing what you're saying too. Ah, what and a lot it? of the other fellow Calypsonians are saying it too. Yeah. Um, you do a lot of writing. Writing is a big part of your business now, and you're writing for a lot of the artists. Tell us about some of them. Oh, well, um, last, last carnival, one of my um, songs made it to the semifinals. Um, this year, 2017, 20, I wrote for Abby Blackman, I wrote for um, the little short man that we call the Cyclops, I did one for Sexy C, and I also did one for Shanaqua, I did one for a chutney for a guy called Wakaman. How do you find the time? To write for yourself, great songs, and write for others. Yeah. Yeah. Writing comes like speaking to somebody, to me because I sleep with my books, my pen, and all my work tools on my bed. 2015, okay, you went at the Chinese. You spoke about the issues 
that are facing TNT now with the Chinese invasion. When I look around, in every nook and cranny in Trinidad, I see a restaurant open. When I look around, it's a Chinese. <laughs> you understand me? Uh -huh. And it was never like that. I know. I knew for a fact that when I was a child, we had a, um, a Chinese invasion in Trinidad and Tobago. Um, but it disappeared. Then all of a sudden, again, in every nook and cranny, you look if you're a Chinese. So that is why I came up with the, idea, with the song. Yeah. The Chinese invasion. An invasion, yeah. And we all can identify that because no matter where we go. Yeah, the Chinese restaurant, that. some village have three and four. Right. You know, and they can't even speak English, but they're here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's not keep you guys waiting and take you to the video clip of an invasion by the Dragon Lady. Somebody please explain this to me. Where the hell is going on here in my country? It's an invasion in my island. Little yellow people take over my land. This thing so surprising as I can see. Anywhere I look, I see a Chinese. Just like wood lies when you cut down a tree. The whole of Trinidad cover with them Chinese. What you chancing Jet Lee, Ivan Bruce Lee? Anywhere I look, I see a Chinese. Yeah, King Lu, Fang Ping Yi, and Ivan Rowley. Anywhere I look, I see a Chinese. It's an invasion. Foreign invasion. Chinese who invade my land It's a plenty Guyanese and Jamaican Check out them supermarket and their station Most of them workers, illegal alien If I go to a foreign country to stay Without work permit, can't get work no way How the hell these people come to my country And most of them living better than me Ching Yang Ying Yang, Ling Long, Ivan Ling Li Anywhere I look I see a Chinese Having soup in Ching Wing It's an invasion, for an invasion. They can't even understand what we say, but slowly they're taking the country away. Fight on, fight on! Dump me, dump me, dump me, dump me! When an African and Indian make a baby, we go for a fact, talk like we will see. Now we create history in this country. How the hell you call a Chinese Indian baby? I never seen nothing like this before. Every nook and cranny, Chinese evermore. They invade from the city to the country. In every village for my restaurant, you will see. Chiwang Mawa Sing Ho Ya Wing Ping We. Anywhere I look, I see a Chinese. Having soup in Ching Wing Ivan Ming Fi. Anywhere I look, I see a Chinese. It's an invasion, or an invasion. It seemed the past regime they had a plan. Enough dog la time to China rise this nation. Amazing and it's a fact. Five years now, them people they going back. Five years now, they have been closing down sale. Yet immigration, they put none in jail. They have goodbye sale up in Makoya. Then they move to Shogun as they be over. It no longer have a building vacant. Everyone of Chinese grocery and restaurant. Ching Loi, Ling Loi, Ping Loi, Ivan Ching Wei. Anywhere I look, I see a Chinese. I'm always sipping. Ring even Ming Fi. Anywhere I look, I see a Chinese. Is an invasion. For an invasion. They deport in Jamaican and African and Chinese and Indian taking away my land. Hurry up and buy. You are 
are watching Caribbean Inside TV and we're here down in Separia by Lady Gypsy where it's, listen guys, it's hot. The dragon lady is blowing smoke down here, down here at Stokey's Bar. And we'll be right back with much more. I'm Super Blue. I'm Lady Gypsy. My name is Gypsy. My name is Barry Simon. This is the messenger. So what I thought you'd die, I know. Glenn Washington says so. Caribbean Insight. Depths. Caribbean Insight. Caribbean Insight. Caribbean Insight. Please check Caribbean Insight. You and Tuko not hitting it off. There's a big controversy going on with you and Tuko. Tell us about that. There's always controversy with Tuko because somehow to me I, it seems like they um they, do, they are not doing the job they, they were put there to do, you know, to represent Calypsonian because most of the time when Calypsonian get in themselves into difficulties, we always have to battle our own self out of wherever we get ourselves in, you know. When we supposed to have a union that is Tuko, who is supposed to represent us, which they don't, you know. Um, a matter of fact, take for instance, there were a couple of years ago, there was a, Calyp uh, a lawyer who wanted to sue me for a song that I wrote and needed Tuko and I did. They were not there for me, you know, so. To me, you know, Tuko don't make any sense to me. Yeah, maybe um, we need somebody else to lead this organization so that we, the Calypsonian, can be represented by somebody who cares. Okay. All right, you guys are Tuko, you hear the sister is calling for change. Um, let's, you are a strong competitor. You say things that people want to say and they're scared to say. Yeah, they are no belly. They are no <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I only have much, but um, Trent, as a woman, you know, I am a very determined person. I do my own composition, I write my own songs, and I write the songs that and sing them the way I see. Right. I see things that I compose, what I see that makes me feel comfortable, that people scared to say that I am a brave one that will come out and say it. Doesn't matter who it offends, once my message gets across. And that's why they call me the Dragon Lady. That's why they call her the Dragon, Dragon Lady. Lady. But before we go too far, Let's give you, the audience, a taste. Like all you don't know, too much a brand name and hope you are singing Calypso. Hey, hey, like only I could see the wickedness and witchcraft in the fraternity. If you want to win the Calypso crown, do not be brave like me and compose your own song. A Larry O. A Christoph song is going to do. Them and some judges is a team, so you will get you. 54 for cent for singer, 44 for writer. 10% for the judge doing the favor. No longer Kaisonian who write and sing Calypso. It's only Kaiso singers in the mass grass show. Too much brand name winning Calypso. It is so sad to see what Tuko doing to we. No damn respect for Calypsonian who bust the brains each year. Writing good composition Like mannequin dress up in cheap showcase suit This guy so singers dress Man they looking cute Never bust their brains Can't compose a line But every year good guy so and get left behind Aye mama Why ay ay Shame to see these big men in Tuko who represent we. Hey, hey, a blind man could see 2012 carnival, they victimize me. Because I sing the truth for gypsy. Anyway, I look for work, I can make money. Tuko afraid to represent Calypsonian because the money coming from government hands. Will you ever hear nine years without election? All you only ripping off Calypsonian. That song Crocro sing like love fit on hand. All you say that this is full African. Too much brand name winning Calypso. It is so sad to see what Tuko doing to we. No damn respect for Calypsonians who bust their brains each year. Right in good composition. You could face it, Kaiso House as a Calypsonian. But no bother to go, take the audition. They never have room for singers like me. It's only to go not so friends and family. Aye, mama. Why? my heart to see, to 
Temptation does bring in me. Hey, hey, all the friendship gone. Walking around, watching one another with scorn. If they feel that your song could bring you a crown. If all kind of obia oil they bring in along. Pay the friends in the band to mess up your song. Like what happened to me for independence crown. Up to now, Errolins, I still want to know who pay it to Fufu my music so. All you take me time in just before I go. When I walk on the stage was a road match show. Too much brand name winning Calypso. It is so sad to see what to go do in the way. No damn respect for Calypsonians who bust their brains each year writing good composition. It seems to me as though to have a plan to fade away the old Calypsonian and let Larry Harry Wood and them run the show. Next five years, all guys, only and must sing rap so. I ring the bell, ring the bell. I ring the bell down there. Hey, hey, I want you to know it's 35 years now I sing in Calypso. Hey, hey, look a shame to say Not a bicycle to pedal up the highway I write in good calypso, composing good song And if me own Kaiso brethren fighting me down In the judging system of conspiracy It's only one set of singers in the monarchy Like only Larry and Christoph could write calypso Every year they have ten in the mascara show If you can't judge me fear, I'm telling you as man It's time to stop this foo-foo competition too much brand name winning Calypso. It is so sad to see what to go do in the week. No damn respect for Calypsonians who bust their brains each year writing good composition. It's time to have two different competition. One for Kaiso singer, one Calypsonian. A Calypsonian is a man who writes and sings Calypso. A Kaiso singer performs on the Mascara show. Hi, mama. Why, ay, ay. Look them there, look them there. No lie. My name is David Rudder. I am Mavis John. Yo, this is KMC. I'm Nicole Graves. Hey, this is Ronnie. This is Ronnie McIntosh. I is Brother Resistance. I am Ras Shorty Eye. I make sure that I watch Caribbean Inside. And so should you. Caribbean Inside. Really is dynamite. Caribbean Inside. Really super. Was spite. Caribbean Inside. Enjoy day or night. Welcome back to Caribbean Insight and we're here at down in Separia Tech Village to be specific at Strokey's Bar. Guys, it's hot. We're riding with the dragon lady. She is blowing fire. <laughs> lady Gypsy, right now, uh, I know that you're pretty busy. You've just been to Tobago. You're getting ready to celebrate your birthday bash. What's next for Lady Gypsy? Well, um, after, um, on the first, I'm having my birthday bash on the coffee uh -huh. and then on the f on the third which is my birthday which is also your birthday welcome right. welcome to the liberal club uh-huh um, i'm glad to know that i share my birthday same day with you thank you i'm having a bram on the hill right close to where we are here at my home uh -huh. on the third and are there uh, is we gonna have some artists over there of course we have all Ras commander kenny j and everybody impulse everybody's gonna be by my house okay having dinner and drinking beers and we're gonna have a lot of fun we're just gonna celebrate celebrate our birthday our okay. cafe mine again is yours as well <laughs> and um um after that on the, um next, on tuesday coming here I will be in the recording studio i'll be in the studio from tuesday mm -hmm. i am uh, i am doing a pan song for Rio Claro Cuscaros, which is a little small, a small band from Rio Claro that is unrecognized. But I dedicate this song for 2017 towards this band. Uh -huh. And my other song, which is the bomb, I will hold back. Uh -huh. Calypso, I like the teeth, you see? So, um, 
Alright, I'll let them know my idea. And what I have coming. Okay. Yeah. So the lady is holding back on the secrecy for 2017, yeah, guys. Yeah, 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 you, yeah. And you guys know she's hard hitting. Tom Whippin. I know Trinidad and Tobago are always waiting to hear what Lady Gypsy is going to sing next. Because they know there's always some controversy in everything I sing. Yeah, but I don't business. Okay, I that's why you're vocal and controversial. I am business. All right, guys. I sing the truth. In my hand, I'm holding the CD. It's entitled Lady Gypsy, Wicked as Ever. Tell us about this CD. Um, my manager, who was Lenny Hardaway, he's English. Um, he had these songs, uh, one of those tracks there was done for Bob Marley, which when he died, he died and left it in a studio in England, mm -hmm. which my manager was affiliated with Bob Marley, his, his children and what, what and all of them, mm -hmm. sort of um, Michael Jackson as well too, mm -hmm. he used to work, do work for them in England, and he had these tracks and was asking me, you know how long he was looking for somebody to sing them, and I heard them in the studio one year, which was about two years ago, and um, I fell in love with some of the tracks because they were some of the songs that I grew with. Right. And I did them and he cried. He cried, you know, and together with some of what I had, I've been compiling for years trying to make an album like this. Mm -hmm. Since I heard Francine you know, on singing Francine, I have one that I loved a lot. Mm -hmm. And I decided, you know, I always wanted to do one of these. And some of those was done in England mm -hmm. and some here. And that was the end result of it. And I chose the name Wicked as Ever because it is wicked. Okay, Wicked As Ever, the CD is out there, Lady Gypsy. You have songs like Crying Time, mm -hmm. Hey Girl, Unchained Melody, I Feel Good, Stand By Me, guys. Go out there and support it. Remember, I always tell you guys, culture is a way of life. Uh, Lady Gypsy, when the history books are written, how would you like to be remembered? Remembered as a woman of strength. A cultural woman, strong, strong, strong. Trust sure. me. And blessed by the Almighty God, and always a God fearing woman with clean hands, pure heart. That's why I'm looking so young. <laughs> Guys, okay, um, Lady Gypsy, I, I want to take thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to come down here with us down in Tick Village down at Strokey's Bar, spend the time with us, with some of the people in the village. Well, these like, are my neighbors, you know. I grew up with them, neighbors. I've been living here 36 years now. Right. Everybody here, it has nothing like race in this village. Right. It has nothing like Indian and African in this village. We are all one. Right. One people, we eat and drink in the same pot. Okay. Good. I love them all and they love me. Okay. Every day.
For the past hour, we yeah. have been down here in Safaria Thick Village, to be specific, at Stokey's Bar. And we have been talking with the Dragon Lady, the lady who tells it like it is. Very vocal and very controversial. Lady Gypsy, this is what, thank you so much for being with us. And let me just open this invitation. The doors are always open here at Caribbean Insight, because I know as you go on, you go.